Okay, so bell ringer, we have one and three fourths times three and one ninth. Okay, so what do we have to do to that before you can multiply those fractions? Make them improper. Okay, so here we go. All right, so we have one and three fourths. times three and one ninth. Okay, I saw a video last week, this weekend, last week, sometime, I don't remember, and it said, it had this little acronym, MAD. And I thought that was pretty cool because I talk about sad fractions all the time, and this video is called the MAD fractions instead of sad fractions. So imagine we're gonna make some MAD fractions. So the we're going to take this mixed number and we're going to make it a mad fraction instead of a happy fraction. Okay, what do you think the M stands for? Multiply. multiply. So we're going to multiply the whole number times the denominator because that means we have one group of four. The denominator tells you how many pieces are in the group. You with me? Okay, one group of four. So M stands for multiply. What do you think the A stands for? Add. So then we're going to add the numerator. So we're going to multiply, add, and then we're going to write the problem as a division problem. Division problem. Right. So what would one and three fourths be? We multiply, add. What do you get? What do you get? You get seven over four. Okay, then we have three and one ninth. We're gonna make it a mad fraction. We're going to multiply three groups of nine, which is, come on, I need you answer because remember we're on time schedule now. You said you had running shoes on. Okay, 27. Then you're gonna add, what would that be? 28. 28. And then you're going to write it as a division. You keep the denominator the same. So 28 over 9. So you have to do that first before, before you do the seesaw, friends. Where's your master? You got that? You got that? Okay. So now, look at your seesaw, friends. Okay, look at 7 and 9. They would be on the same seesaw. 7 and 9, do they have anything in common? No, so you can't simplify anything. What about 4 and 28? Those are seesaw friends. What do they have in common? Nope. Huh? 4, they have 4 in common. So we're going to divide the 4 out of both of them. Okay, 4 divided by 4? 1. So slash it and put a 1. 28 divided by 4? 7. Seven. Slash it and put a 7. And then we multiply straight across, side by side. Multiply, divide, side by side. What's 7 times 7? 49. And what, what's 1 times 9? Okay, so it's still a mad fraction. I need to make it a happy fraction. Okay, see, so look, this guy, he is mad. Okay, and I need to make him happy. Okay, how do I make him happy? Turn it into a mixed number. How many times will 9 go into 49? This is a division problem. 49 divided by 9. It'll go how many times? 4. 4 times, and that's 40. No, that's 36. Five. I think it'll go 5 times. Okay, let me erase the 4. It'll go 5 times. 9 goes into 45 5 times with 4 left over. And now he's happy. Okay. Next question. Can you write that? Nine times four six. First of all, I don't like four six. Sit down. Sit down. I like four six. What can I write instead of four six? Two thirds. Nine times two thirds. Okay. Nine. It's a whole number. 
How can I make this a fraction? It's not nine over nine. Nine over nine would be one. Nine over one. Nine over one. So we put a one underneath there. Nine over one. Okay, now look for seesaw friends. Okay. Nine and three are seesaw friends. What will go into nine and three? Three. So slash it, slash the nine. Nine goes into three three times. How many times will three go into three? I said nine goes into three. I meant three goes into nine three times. Okay, three goes into three. How many times? One. One. Okay. All right, now other seesaw friends are one and two. Do they have anything in common? Huh? No, they don't. So we just multiply straight across. Three. Three times two is? Six. Yeah, wake up. One times one is? Six. What is six? That's still a mad fraction. How can I make it happy? What is six over one equivalent to? Six. six. Okay. I'm going to.